Well, hey there guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about the biopic Lead Belly. That's all about Huddy William Ledbetter. This is Brock Hart Briggs. This is Rock Hard Riffs, the rock and roll guitar channel for the self-taught. That's right, we're going to talk about Lead Belly. What an interesting, interesting story. Wow, what a movie. I mean, wow, what a movie. That's all I can say. This guy's life was... Holy guacamole, when they talk about people singing the blues and just, uh, you know, being in the wrong place at the wrong time, around the wrong people kind of thing. Well, Lead Belly just had some really bad luck with that in his younger days. This biopic or docudrama, this movie, whatever you want to call it, covers his life from about his late teens on. And uh, man, just an incredible movie. Let's talk a little bit more about Lead Belly. You know, all the uh, older rockers, the Led Zeppelins and the Beatles and all, they always spoke about people like Lead Belly, and I just never knew much about him uh, until recently. And wow, I'm telling you guys, just an incredible story once again. Okay, guys, let's talk a little bit about his bio. Now, his name is Huddy William Ledbetter, but in the movie, you hear them call him Huddy. But there are supposedly some recordings of him calling himself Huddy. So it's H-U-D-D-I-E, William Ledbetter, L-E-D, better, one word. But Lead Belly, he spelled L-E-A-D, belly, two words. So it's kind of almost like the opposite of Led Zeppelin, if you think about it. Okay, so Mr. Lead Belly was born on January 23rd, 1888, and passed away December 6th of 1949. Lead Belly was an American folk blues singer, musician, and songwriter, notable for his strong vocals, virtuosity on the 12-string guitar, and the folk standards he introduced, including his renditions, of Goodnight Irene, Midnight Special, Cotton Fields, and Bull Weevil. Lead Belly was born in Mooringsport, Louisiana, and he passed away in New York City at the age of 61. You know, I expected much more of like a bluesy type of thing from Lead Belly, but it was much more folk, uh, in my opinion, and more upbeat and almost kind of countryish. Now, Lead Belly usually played a 12-string guitar, but he also played the piano, mandolin, harmonica, violin, and wind jammer. If you're curious what a wind jammer is, it's kind of an accordion. <laughs> now, Lead Belly covered all sorts of topics. He did not limit himself as far as the topics that he covered. He did gospel music and blues and folk and all kinds of stuff. He sang about women, liquor, prison life, racism, uh, cowboys, sailors, cattle herding, and dancing. I mean, he was all over the map as far as that goes. He sang about people such as Franklin D. Roosevelt, Adolf Hitler, Gene Harlow, Jack Johnson, the great boxer, Scott's Burrow Boys, and Howard Hughes. He was also inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1988. When I read different biographies about Lead Belly, they spoke about, of course, his different incarcerations. But when you watch the movie, it uh, really gets the point across much better. And just a heavy duty story. The end of it, the very last line that he said, I'm not going to spoil it, but to me was just extremely powerful. Let's put it that way. It's just, I'll never forget the end, uh, I'll just never forget the quote from the end of the movie that Led Belly speaks himself. Just uh, really moving, extremely powerful. Wow, that's all I can say. Now this biopic is from 1975. It appears as if it were made for TV. It is not widescreen. It's the old fashioned square box screen. So I'm pretty sure it was made for TV, but still very, very well made. Acting I thought was outstanding. Just, just an excellent movie alone. And then of course it being a true story, even far more powerful. All right guys, this was all about Lead Belly and he inspired so many people in the rock world. Really important guy, and such a great story. Okay guys, thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next video.